so which attribution model do you end up using within your company or you recommend and uh, and what are some of the key lessons that you've sort of like learned while implementing those so maybe we can go to Naomi for this yeah um so that's a great question i think in an ideal world you would have one model that is well adopted and understood across you know the entire organization and can be easily updated in presentations and everyone can say great let's make these decisions based on that but that's you know we don't live in an ideal world and the reality is much more complicated especially you know if you work somewhere where with different business units maybe you've grown through acquisition and especially if data is held in many different places. Um, in my industry, industrial manufacturing, I believe it can also be more complicated because you can have many repeat customers in a very short period of time. And in-person events like um, trade shows can be a buying or closing opportunity, right? So people will go to a show, visit the booth, literally sign the deal at the show. Um, and the single, touch the single touch attribution model for us is still the main source of reporting here, but I like to take more of a hybrid approach and also overlay it with um, multi-touch attribution where it makes sense. And, you know, socializing this information internally um, helps to gain momentum and ideally adoption over time. 